All right, so this is my uh, initial test setup for the flyback. Um, <laughs> uh, I, I affectionately call this setup a uh, major sor short circuit waiting to happen. Uh, transistors on a, a heat sink. Uh, it's just a TO3. I can't remember the uh, number right off hand. Um, uh, what was it? A TV HV out was the description on the package. Um, okay, on the breadboard, here we have the uh, voltage divider for the feedback. Um, alligator clips everywhere, man. Not only that, but these aren't insulated. So, yeah, uh, before I you know, plug this thing into the battery pack. 9 volts, by the way, 6 double A's. Uh, before I plug this thing into the battery back battery pack um, I am real careful not to uh, let any of those short out okay so you know coming over here got the uh, massive wires here there's uh, oh yeah by the way that wire is red after it's been cleaned okay so there's a flyback here <clears throat> and on the flyback coil we have our primary and feedback winding. Um, for anybody that's messed with this kind of stuff, uh, usually when you get a flyback out of it, ah, and it was still holding a charge. <laughs> Oops. Wow. I think I uh, forgot to discharge it last time I had it running. Um, by the way, there's there's a reason it's holding a charge. Um, boy, that thing bit me good. <laughs> uh, there's a reason it's holding a charge. Uh, okay, this card is really starting now. Okay, as I was turning this thing around to show you the uh, primaries, um, I must have contacted something from another one of the secondaries and that jolted me pretty good um, there's a reason these things hold a charge uh, inside most DC flybacks, this is a DC flyback, it has a diode to uh, rectify the uh, high voltage coming out so it's, it's direct current um, but also what's inside this thing is a voltage multiplier and the multi voltage multiplier has, among other things, uh, specifically diodes, uh, a series of capacitors. It's basically a series of di diodes and capacitors uh, lined up to multiply the voltage. And the way it works is it basically charges, I might have this backwards, it charges in series, discharges in parallel. Where it charges in parallel, I'm sorry, I, I do have it backwards, charges in parallel, discharges in series which allows it to uh, increase the voltage uh, it multiplies it yeah, approximately by two but there's losses that affect that so I got a, a jolt from one of those small capacitors in there um, as I pick the thing up <laughs> I gotta see which lead I, c I connected with um, yeah with all these extra leads and everything and there's a couple of wires here these are the uh, filament wires um, these are just out in the open air right now and they really need to be uh, trimmed back so I think before I do too much more messing with this I'm going to trim all this stuff back uh, pot it in epoxy um, cut everything except for the ground lead pot that all in epoxy so hopefully I won't have any more unpleasant surprises when I grab this thing and pick it up because man that was not fun um, but anyway uh, here uh, on this side of it these alligator clips and everything is very temporary. I just wanted to get the thing up and running and uh, I kind of burned out a transistor in the, the process because it overheated so hey, I put it on a heat sink and with the heat sink I couldn't actually keep it on the breadboard so um, I had to go and do the alligator clip thing but uh, that's essentially it. Um, very simple circuit uh, Yes, and you're definitely not energized at the moment. 
what you have here is a uh, transistor and a TO3 package. This is what they call a uh, single transistor flyback driver. Prop that up so you can see. Some focus on it. And uh, that is a. Uh, Okay, it's NTE part number is 283, NTE 283, and it's got another number underneath it, which is probably a more common number, uh, which it's calling itself an LF073L, and for people who know transistor part numbers, uh, they'll know exactly what transistor that is, and that one seems to work fairly well for this, running it off of a 9-volt battery. Um, and that's basically it for the driver. Um, you'll see here in the next section of this video, uh, pretty quick here, uh, a, a quick test to um, show it in action. So until next time, thanks for watching.